hello plotter experts welcome back to another exciting video of our plotter and firebase mastery series right here on baloch dev youtube channel i am pumped because today we are diving into the cart screen grab your cup of tea and let's start coding all right let's jump into the code we are going to set up the cart screen this is where user will see their shopping cart but before designing our cart screen let's have a look at our actual uh, application so how our cart screen looks so yeah when we just uh, there are no orders placed so we will see this screen on our cart page but when we just visit uh, our wish list when our wish list is also empty so we will be just getting this screen too and as similar we, we just want to visit our viewed recently products products and we will just see this screen but these all screens are similar um, but the changes is on this image and on the subtitle so now what we will be just doing so we will be just creating a custom screen where we just need to show that our uh, screen is empty and there is no order placed yet so let's just begin by creating a custom screen so i'll be just creating a screen here and then we will just make it uh, customable so here i will be just uh, removing this center and the text uh, widget for now and i'll be just using a simple column widget and the children and now we just need to show the image so i'll be just using image dot assets and now i will just provide the path of our image here i will just remove this cons we will we are just getting that error so now we can just get our image by using our that asset manager and i'll be just using our empty basket which will be shopping cart that's it i'll just save this and let's see what we will be just getting yeah we have got uh this cart image from our this asset folder so now we will be just setting the height and width of this image so i'll be just uh using the height uh, property and i'll be just setting the height according to the device which will be basically responsive so i'll just uh, take the height of our device by using the media query which will be size size and is equal to media query of context and the size great now we will be just getting and calculating our uh, size according to our device side which will be um, uh, responsive basically so yeah now i'll just use how height and i'll just multiply it with uh, 0.35 and i'll be just using the width width will be double dot infinity whatever spaces are available just all this uh take all the spaces from the device so yeah that's it now i'll just save this let's see how it looks great now it is looking great but we also uh, still need some kind of paddings from the top side of that so we will just give some paddings to it so i'll just wrap my this column widget with the padding widget and now we just need padding from the top so i'll just use the only and i'll get some paddings from the top great now i'll just save this and that's it so now let's just move ahead and now i'll just add the text so for the text we will be just using our custom text which was title 
uh, text widget and I'll just give it a label to it which will be whoops and the size will be font size 40 it will be fine I guess and the color will be colors dot red that's it now I'll just save this let's see how it looks yeah it's looking great now under this we just need a text your cart is empty so we just uh, be showing that by using our subtitle text which will be subtitle text widget and I'll just give it a label to it which will be your card is empty and we also need some kind of spacings between them so I'll be just using our sized box which is sized box and I'll just give it I 20 and let's see how it looks so let's just give some kind of stylings to it I'll just change the font size and the font, font weight of my this subtitle text I'll be just using font weight uh, to font weight W600 and I'll just give the font size to 25 now again I'll just copy this size box here from here and now I'll just paste it under this and again I'll just paste this subtitle widget and I'll just paste it here and that's it now I'll just get what we need basically so for that I'll just change the font weight to 400 and the font size to 20 and now I will just type my this text that's it now we just need a button under that so we will just create our elevated button I'll copy this sized box from here and just paste it here and now I'll just quickly create the elevated button um, which will be elevated button and I'll just uh, keep the function empty for now and in the, child, in the child section I will be just providing a text widget to show a title on the button let's save it let's see how the, our button looks that's good now we just need uh, some kind of stylings and to hit so i'll just provide this use the style property and use text style and change the font size great now we just need some kind of paddings into it so i'll just provide uh padding to my this elevated button to you to give the paddings we just need to use the style property of our this elevated button and now we just need to use the elevated button from style elevated button dot from style and now we just use the padding and now i'll just provide edge and six all and now i'll just provide 20 and let's see now how it looks great now it is looking much better so i'll save this here and we just need some kind of more spacings so i'll just use 30 and yeah now it is yeah now i will be just creating a file into my this widget directory and that will be empty bag widget so i'll just cut all of this code and i'll just add it into my that file so that will be empty widget bag dot dot so that's it now I'll be just changing the name uh, from here so I'll just press ctrl D ctrl D and that's it now I'll just change it to empty bag widget there's it now I'll just need uh, uh, to provide the provide the required field so what we just need to get dynamically so that will be the labels and the images so I'll provide them all so for that we just need to provide 
the image path basically it will be the string and image path and their title and subtitle and the button text that's it now I'll just add them into my this constructor I'll save this so now I'll just provide the image path here whatever path we will be just get uh, from the user side or from the uh, specific page so we will just show that image on the screen and we will be just uh, applying the similar a pattern which we will be just providing the title whatever title we will be getting so we will just provide that title to it and now it comes uh, the subtitle so I'll just provide the subtitle that's it we will be just getting this dynamically and the text uh, the button text also we will be just getting this text button dynamically so I'll be just providing that button text and now that's it we are done we have just made our this um class uh, empty widget bag our customable class so we can now just use it wherever we want to use that so now i'll be just moving to my this uh card class and now i'll be just cutting all of these uh from here and now i'll just call my that widget which we have just called which we have just created so now i'll be just calling that uh, which will be empty empty bag widget and i'll save this and now i'll just provide all the uh, required fields here so now i'll just quickly provide them so i'll just use the asset manager and which will be the basket and the title will be your cart is empty and the subtitle will be looks like your cart is empty so i'll use the slash in to just uh, go to the next line add something and make and make me happy so that's it now i'll just provide the button text which will be shop now and now we just don't need this size here so i'll just cut it and now we will just save this and yeah we just got the similar page but now this time uh, we are using the empty bag widget which is basically a customable widget so we can just use it uh, for our other screen so yeah great and there you have it we have just built the foundation for our cart screen the empty bag widget is ready to inform users when their cart is empty and it looks awesome doesn't it in the next session we will take this even further by dynamically loading and displaying user items in the shopping cart so make sure to subscribe hit that like button and stay tuned for more platter goodness until next time happy fluttering